When I start hearing about that, I'm hearing a TV. I felt so broken. I felt so angry. I've seen this thing from my mom, what it does. And then they said it's an MDR. And then it's worse than the normal TV. My name is Notabo. I was born in 1987 in Cape Town, um, 32 years of age. When you are diagnosed with this TB, first of all, you feel so empty. You feel like you are so helpless. My body felt weak, first of all. I lost appetite. I was coughing also. At first, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. And even myself, to be honest, I told myself, I'm not going to do this. 12 months is too long. It's just, it's 100 years for me. Eating pills, 21 pills every day. No, I can't. But hospice nurses helped me. They come for visit. They know my days. I don't know how they do it. They know, okay, today you are going to the doctor. That week, you're going to take your meds and what so on, so on. So they know about me. Unfortunately, today, tuberculosis is still one of the largest killers here in South Africa. Well, USAID's new model, the Global Accelerator, is an exciting initiative because it manifests what we really need to do to eradicate the illness. And that is to have the South African government and civil society and academic institutions take the leading role in addressing the problem. The greatest success for us in helping the Department of Health to fight tuberculosis is increasing the detection rate for the illness above the international standard of 70%. Our challenge with uh, TB, like most infectious diseases, is that we need to intervene from the source. And the source does not actually start in the hospital. I'm Sister Muriel Malapani, working at the TB Focal Point in Pretoria West Hospital. We were really having limited resources, but since we have user aid, things were very much easy for us. You know, we were able to reach everyone who is coming to the hospital. Previously, the treatment for TB used to be very long. It has reduced now as uh, 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 the medication changes. And uh, you don't need to keep the patient in the hospital when they are beyond the infectious stage. So where do you keep them? You keep them in district hospitals. You keep them at home where they can access their treatment in their nearest clinics. In our province in Eastern Cape, you only had two hospitals that were admitting the RTP patients. So we had a long list of patients that were waiting for admission and for initiation of the RTP treatment before decentralization. Then when decentralization was started, at least the services were brought closer to the patients. We've uh, noted through our statistics that TB is affecting ages between 15 and 45 mostly. And that is a, a, a working a group of, of people and some of them are, are attending schools. So if you've got that kind of a group affected by TB, that affects the economy of the province. For us to be able to combat TB, we need to find the infectious cases in the communities. We, we doing the screening for in every health facility. We screen for TB age five years and above. What I find so inspirational here is the passion with which they approach South Africa's health challenges. Uh, it's that passion that keeps us going and it's that passion that will eventually help us reach epidemic control. I wish one day we could be a country that is free from TB. 
you know, I wish we have a, a, a TB free South Africa one day. So I completed my treatment on the 8th of this month, August 2019. I was so happy. I cried. I cried all the way home. If there is a TB, there is a disability, RTP, but you can beat it. We can beat it.